Well, when we say authentic Kabbalah, we mean that there, there's, uh, there are certain conditions that make something, that make what uh, a person studies either Kabbalah or not Kabbalah. Authentic Kabbalah uh, is, has been taught in, a, in an unbroken lineage for uh, thousands of years. And you can trace the the teacher to the to the student to the who becomes a teacher to the student and so on, uh, and in order to for a, a person to really gain something from Kabbalah, for it not to be philosophy or or some kind of new age um, concoction, uh, you know, coming from a, a lot of disconnected sources, it's very important to have the benefit of this uh, of this lineage. Where the where the the knowledge comes, the science comes intact, and is delivered to the student according to the student's uh, ability and level at the time, and uh, that means what. Why we say that uh, that Bnei Baruch is is authentic Kabbalah is that we know precisely what the lineage is, and also that we work only from authentic source texts. We don't work from you know the the writings of 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 authors outside of that lineage. We only work uh, with the work of the, the writings of the Kabbalists, and from there um, we, we, uh, we, we take out the, uh, the intended meaning for us at this time in this generation. And this lineage, uh, our lineage, is, starts from our teacher. Uh, we're, I'm going backwards now in time. It starts from our teacher, uh, uh, Rav Lightman, uh, Professor Dr. Lightman, and his teacher was Baruch Shalom Halavi Ashlag, who was uh, one of the great Kabbalists uh, of the 20th century, uh, a man who formulated a means for the common person, the person of the 20th and 21st century, to actually understand and enter something that was, uh, you know, sort of hidden and incomprehensible for a very long time. He uh, is the direct student of uh, Rav Yehuda Ashlag, who was also his father. Not that that is all that important. I mean, it's not something that you can inherit. It's something that you must learn. But uh, Yehuda Ashlag was the towering giant Kabbalist of the 20th century. He wrote the um, uh, the commentary on the Zohar, the first complete commentary on Zohar that ever existed. He opened that up to... to to everybody, opened up the the true meaning of uh, uh, of the Zohar and the works of the Ari. And uh, without going into too much detail, what what we're saying is that here, studying with Bnei Baruch, you will be benefiting from the actual mm -hmm. sources, not from made up stuff. It's uh, it's probably also worth noting that uh, Bnei Baruch is a is a non profit organization. Uh, it has branches in. Uh, in, in more than 50 uh, countries in the world. It um, disseminates Kabbalah to anybody, any religion, any race, any gender. Um, this, is, uh, this is for humanity.